Hello. In this video, we're going to be installing the new iOS 11 beta on an iPad Air 2. Uh, first things first, uh, I'm not by any means recommending or telling you to do this or saying it's safe in any way because it's just totally new and I'm probably unstable, but we're going to do this just so we can have a look at it. And I will include the download link for the profile in the description. So let's get started. First thing to do, open Safari. And you're going to go and type in that link, which I will include in the description, exactly like so there. And then you're going to click download right here underneath the little thing that looks like a phone. Then it's going to come up. And all you do is hit install there, install again, install, and it's going to ask you to restart. So I'm going to hit restart, and it's going to do it, and that part's going to take roughly 15 to 20 minutes after it downloads. And then I will I'll be right back shortly, and we'll just briefly browse around and show you that it did work. So I'm going to hit restart now. And actually, we'll let it come back up because then we have to go back into settings general and then do the software update check and it'll show there. So we'll do that part. And then we'll take a little break. settings software update you see it says updating re update requested all right so we'll give that some time and I'll be back shortly all right now you can see this it is actually downloading it just took a second for it to start so hopefully four minutes may be a little misleading so hopefully with 10 minutes or less it'll be downloaded and it'll start installing So, the update is completed, and the first thing we get is press the home button to finish setting up iOS 11. So we'll do that. Update complete. Continue there. We'll do that later. Continue. And I'm not going to do a passcode now. Continue. And we're not going to do that now either. Use. Sure, sure, get started. All right, you automatically see there's the new dock and also the new files app. We'll let you browse all of your files and we'll turn it around this way because it's typically the way you would view that. That's pretty much it. We'll go to the settings. You see version iOS 11. That's it. That's uh, that's all there is to it. Um, again, like I said in the beginning, I'm not recommending you do this or telling you to run this on the primary device. This is just something where we can look at it, play around with it, see some of the new stuff. Um, enjoyed this? Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thanks.